testing, testing.
Isolation Nation, welcome to another Social Distancing Social Club, which airs on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> or so I thought when I was sleeping five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. And my brain broken. And welcome to the show. And I will wake up in the first 10 minutes of it. So wait, look forward to me all of a sudden coming alive. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. Please welcome now to the show that has already begun at this earlier hour, the second leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up the quarantine, Mr. Steve Morningside, uh, Hofstetter. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. The sad part is that when Ben thought the show was going to start at 3, he still set his alarm for 2.55. Anyway, we're happy to have you here. <laughs> Top right of the screen, if you want to support the show, that is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on the YouTube, throw in those Facebook stars, those super hearts on Twitter, all of that stuff. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the third leg of the quarantine, please welcome Mr. Chris Bowers. Bow wow. What's up, everybody? I'm up eight pounds today. Hello. Oh, my anyway, God. Uh... <laughs> was, I'm... I'm all I it, we have every kind of candy in the house, which is not a good plan. We're trying to lose weight, and I just gained back most of I'm only now lost 2.7 pounds out of the seven <laughs> I lost. I think it's really cool that you guys uh figured out this new seesaw diet. I think yeah. it's cool. hey, dude, welcome to my life, dude. Six months on, six months off. We can eat whatever I want for six months as long as I diet for another six months. It works out. I mean, well, I'm, fat I'm for glad a time, you were but... able to wear that jacket for a day. Yeah. Well, no, that one will fit again. I still lost 20 pounds in his water weight. I can lose it again. Like, but it is fun. I did step on the scale today. I'm like, oh, 237. That's fun. All and right. I love that Bowers thinks one month is six months. Well, I'm saying, no, I, do, I don't do I do six months at a time. I do one month every two months or whatever. Got so it. I'll have two months of decadence and then another month of whatever. Rachel's like here. Rachel, how are you doing? know how time works. It's great. <laughs> I went on a diet, too. I lost all of my weight today. All of it. <laughs> 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 you look great. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I really, yeah. like, I chiseled my cheekbones. Well, you've got, yeah, very high cheekbones. Uh, I like so... that you have a similar uh, haircut to my first quarantine haircut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're a little whiter than Steve, finally. Uh, <laughs> so I have a bit of a crazy theory, and I, and I, and I want you guys to hear me out. I, I, I was stoned last night when I came over with this, so this could be nuts, but I okay. think... Ruth Gator, Bader Ginsburg might have been actual real Jesus, like the second coming of Christ. Think about it. Sat around and judged humanity for 90 years as a literal fucking judge, wrote opinions about what we were supposed to do to each other, stuck up for all the people, the meek that, you know, Jesus would because she was really Jesus. I mean, and then, and then as a final test right before she dies, she's like, okay, she sets up the Merrick, Merrick Garland thing and the Republicans are like, the fucking, the people should have a vote. And then a month before this election, she says, put your money where the mouth is, motherfuckers. And they were just so shitty again. She's like, fuck it, and gave them all COVID. I think fucking Ruth Bader Ginsburg is Jesus. That's also I'm Jewish. I'm saying she's Jewish. You would send a Jew, right? I mean, that, that, that Jesus was a Jewish guy. He's not going to c convert to Christianity. I'm telling you, man, I think this is real. We are in the middle of the apocalypse, but in a good way. This is like the yeah, rapture, we... but the bad people are the Christians, and they're the ones leaving. Wait, the bad Bowers. Ones. The bad ones. Bowers. Bowers, I actually, I actually read a, a, a book that talked about this. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty good book. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't hold up Dianetics. I, uh, no, everybody, <laughs> I think you're on something. Everybody knew she was a great carpenter. She built decks for Sevilla. <laughs> No, I mean, look, they didn't have – Jesus would have been a judge if he'd have, if there were judges back in biblical times. There just weren't judges. There were kings. Often, often wore sandals. Yes, see? <laughs> I'm just making that up. I don't know if she known, was. Known for the doily around her or his neck, okay, depending. See, I'm, look. I'm telling you, this is the, the people that were good with good, like Black Lives Matter was a test. Me Too was a test. Who's going to learn? Who's going to realize what, what the good side of this, what the bad side of this? And she was there the whole time watching everybody, and now all those fuckers are about to go away. I'm telling well, you, we're in the rapture. But the good I'm one. telling you, it's going to be difficult to convince me that she was second Jesus because I don't believe in first Jesus. 
So it's hard for me to accept. Yeah, but, but, but now Ooh. I do have an actual question. So, so yeah. as Jews, because I've never been Jewish, as a Jewish person, right? You've never I've been. Never give been. it a shot. It's wonderful. You'll have a great time. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm, like, I'm saying I've never like gone and studied it, so I don't really the know anything about fantastic. it. fantastic. Like all I know about Judaism is from YouTube, to be honest, I, and, and kind of Rachel, right? So like, I, <laughs> <laughs> so, like I thought the whole point was you were waiting for somebody and Jesus one wasn't the guy, right? Aren't, no. No? No. No, we're not. Okay, that's the, a... that's the Christianity in me was taught that, so I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I mean, that's yes. that's Catholic yes. upbringing. So I, so, that's why I asked. I don't. So a lot of a lot of Jewish people, there are different beliefs on it, but uh, one of them that is fairly widely accepted is that he was a person, but not divine. Um, right. uh, other beliefs are that he is the retelling of the Horus story, which is an Egyptian story that mirrors the Jesus story that existed for thousands of years before Jesus existed, and it's the same fucking story, so that's weird. And, well, I guess what I'm saying is, if we were going to convince a bunch of people to believe in someone and listen to what they said, shouldn't Ruth Bader Ginsburg be the person we start fucking promoting as the second coming of Jesus? I, Wouldn't that be better I for society? I enjoy that every time you say her name, it's different. I know. <laughs> Also, not to uh, my buddy on sex. I've started calling her RB Jesus. What? Hello. All right. So, <laughs> also, not to say I'm not that religious, but when you said you guys were waiting for someone but didn't think it was him, right? I did say no, but I also just paused a little second to make sure Steve said no first, and I was like, yeah, no, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I did write a, a great one-liner last night. I think this group will particularly love. You know what you'd call a guy who doesn't stop a pandemic, so 200,000 people die and then dies of that same disease himself? A murderer. What? Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. I also just came up with a nickname for him that I don't know. I don't know how it took me four years to come up with, or forty years, or whatever. But um, I've believed for quite some time. I mean, the guy is basically red colors. His head, hair is almost red. He wears red ties. He's this devilish monster. Devil J. Trump is a very good nickname for him. Yeah. So of course, if tr Trump's the devil, then Bader Ginsburg is the fucking is Jesus. Why would that not be a thing? I think this it's is the make... weirdest version of the Matrix I've ever seen. <laughs> I've and also the weirdest version of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the Bible was stories written a hundred years after it happened. Who knows what's real, what's not? I'm just saying this is a... anyway. This is, this is how, we... how the Bible started. They started workshopping it in like a writer's room. They're like, okay, what about this? What if he was an apostle? I don't know if it's believable. <laughs> <laughs> How many guys should he have? Twelve? Well, that seems probably. Could it, what about seventeen? Nah, that's too many. I don't think he'd have seventeen. Nine? Like, oh, we can't enough. cast seventeen. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I think workshopping the Bible would be a funny movie, Ben. <laughs> At least a sketch. Oh, that good. Is and instead of the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's the it's the weed crisp rolls. This is <laughs> How you did it. Somehow you got through that to a real joke. Oh Thank my you. God. <laughs> Like you did that thing where it was going to trail off, but it actually turned into an actual hilarious joke. How did you do that? That was amazing. <laughs> Workshop, he woke baby. up and a punchline. <laughs> All right. Well, that's my crazy theory. We can talk about it later if you want. But uh, we had an overnight game, but only one person played, but it was fun. So I'm going to fucking say the entry they had. Uh, it's early. No people woke up for the overnight game yet. Uh, so it's what is STS. <laughs> going to look like in 2021 that was the overnight game and Gus Walsh said the year is 2021 Steve and Rachel are now married Bowers gets arrested on suspicious uh, suspicion of killing it in those jackets but Ben pardons him because he's the president but Taylor overrules the pardon because he's the supreme emperor overlord that's a 2021 according to Gus so uh, the least realistic part games? about that is me and Rachel being married next year anyway so <laughs> that ain't so bad of a future to be honest with you yeah you're just happy you get to be president in that one and every yeah. every president should be muted once in a while yeah <laughs> And if I'm in jail, I'm gonna make all kinds of new friends. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, it sounds like a fun deal. <laughs> all right. Well, we got a we got a great game today. I always love the versions of this game. So we're doing uh, make a television show old. So what you do is you take the title of a television show and make it old. So examples: How I Met Your Grandmother, or Doogie Howser, proctologist. However you do it, make a TV show old. Um, you know, something like uh, Just Shoot Me Already. Whatever you do, make a TV show old, and you can uh, you can chat in the you can enter in any of the streams just by chatting um, in Twitch, Twitter, uh, YouTube, or Facebook. But can they do Instagram? 
We're not on Instagram. Not on Instagram. I stopped <laughs> myself on that. I stopped myself on that. If you guys want to enter yours on the MySpace stream, that would be fantastic. We're on Friendster now. Uh, if you want to, uh, I Ignore think. Ignore yeah. the falling glitter and leave your comments. Yeah, we're on. Uh, if you guys want to enter on the GeoCities stream, that would be great. Uh, just, just type it into Alta Vista. You'll find us. Anyway, the point is. Uh, if you want your entry to count toward the contest, um, as well as have a much better chance of being read at the end of the show, do so with a tip of at least five bucks, whether that's a Super Chat, a Venmo, or a PayPal, and we'll get to those at the end of the show. So make a TV show old. And if you don't yeah. want to pay $5 for every game entry, you can join the K Patreon at the gamer level, and you get one free game entry every day. So that saves you a little bit of money. In fact, uh, Matthew Plummer just joined the Isolation Nation level. So thank you, Matthew Plummer, for thank being you, on the Matthew. Patreon and being a patron. Patreon.com backslash SDSC to become or, a or patron. Or just regular slash. Ah, fuck, I said it again. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I always say backslash. I, I think backslash is very like, early 90s web. You know it's what like, I mean? It's like calling those things Jaffs. You know, those... those uh, <laughs> Jaffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just type in HTTP colon backslash backslash www dot. Yeah. WWW stands for World Wide Web. You're on the internet. You're doing a show the called... Magic the magic of the internet. A series of tubes. All right, why don't we introduce... Okay, the let us introduce our VIP video front row. Please turn on your cameras, lend us your ears, join us, lend us your laughter. We've got with us today, Leedy Corbin, art for my heroes. Good morning, Leedy. We've got Jan Skittles Johnson, Skittler than ever. I ate a bunch of Jan last night and every other candy in the world. There it is. Rubel Fruber, call me by your name. We've got Ben Glebe joining us there from a skyline. Zara Bending holding a dildo. Oh, it's a that's a banana. What on earth? Oh my god! <laughs> Look, it was it was yeah, the bottom part was beneath the frame, and it was very confusing what was happening. Now we just have to figure out what Ben does with bananas. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if, if, if Zara go. made sure Mike Paramore wasn't on the show before before she got that banana out. <laughs> anyway. Let me just tell you, Carmel's allergic to bananas, so I do not. Tina from <laughs> New Zealand is with us as well. Hello, Tina. We've got New Zealand and Australia reporting for duty. She's, and she's, and she's at the Cougar Club, which is my new favorite strip club. I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And uh, the only strip club where Bauer seems young by comparison. Thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> no, they're still 28. That's the sad part. <laughs> <laughs> they just have grandkids by now? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's how it works. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Um, well, thanks for being here, you guys. It's going to be a fun show. We can't wait to do it. And we're going to do it starting now. Starting okay. now. We also have two amazing comics with us, as always. Two amazing comics. Uh, Caitlin Palufo is back. How you doing, Caitlin? Caitlin. Hello, how's it going, guys? Oh, we're excited. Oh, this is thrilling. Oh, I'm so excited. I woke up and I showered. I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's more than Ben did. All right, cool. <laughs> we, we also have J. Chris Newberg is back. Newbridge. How are you doing? I think. Newbridge? All Here. right, we'll find him in a bit. We'll find him. He's somewhere, somewhere. Uh, he, I told him he'd be on camera. Anyway, so uh, how's your, uh, how, what, do you, what do you think about, do you think, you think Ruth Bader Ginsburg's Jesus? Caitlin, what do you think? Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. She definitely gave Trump COVID, for sure. <laughs> That's all her doing. And she was like, make sure it's from a pretty girl, too. He's a sucker for those. Like, <laughs> whole, like a woman is bringing him down, of course, you know? Yeah, she has a very I, elaborate will that she's like put a bunch of these things in where it's all the, get the, at the power that she's been setting up for years. I love it. I don't Absolutely. Know it, I don't know if I did. I did. I talk about the T-shirts on the show yesterday. No, uh, I saw the post. Yeah, talk about it. The shirts, yeah. So uh, so uh, soon after it happened, uh, I made a shirt where 100% of the proceeds are going to try to flip purple states, and the shirt simply says, hope is contagious. <laughs> <laughs> and when I first read it, I thought it said, hope it's contagious, and then I, risked, I moved right <laughs> 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 it says hope is contagious, which is great because it's a great pun now, but then afterward, it could just be like a live, laugh, love thing. It just is very positive. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very, it's it very is positive. It it's is the kind of shirt positive. that you see it and you can't argue with it, but if you know, you know. That's what's Steve, great about it. Steve has asked his fans, and that show tested positive. <laughs> shirt, the shirt the amount shirt. of people in the comments who are just like, yeah, so is COVID. <laughs> I'm like, you do not. Get understand <laughs> how jokes work yeah so that's that's, that's great yeah you, yeah you want the smart people to understand and the, or the smart people to be surprised and the stupid people not understand that's a perfect joke for steve i like it <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Rachel, we got anything coming in before we get wrong? Yeah, we had um, Dana tip the show 10 bucks and said, I'm with Bow Wow, but does this mean that Bowers is RBG's first disciple? Uh, yeah, I am the Paul of this church, um, so just follow me around. You know, I'll be, I wear ostentious clothes. I could be the Pope. I mean, I, you're right. the, you're the Paul of this hat. church, you're, you're the Paul of this church, but you're the Ringo of this show. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll give you that. Ouch. I'll give you that. No, I, I'll, look, I'll be any beetle. You guys, look, I, no, I'm not going to, I would never be the worst beetle. Oh, fuck off. Being any beetle would be awesome. Calm yeah. Down. That's hilarious. The idea of like, oh, I don't want to be that beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Is he the one that's still alive? Okay. Well, uh, that's what uh, Bowers uh, Bowers told me years ago. Uh, he told me that uh, one day I was going to run NBC. And I was like, that's really nice, but you couldn't give me a good network? Ooh. <laughs> oh. What's well, not good when you take over and then you build it back? That's why you got the job. If it was good, they don't hire random people till shit falls apart. And then you bring it back from the dead. Oh, my God, that's your T-shirt. Holy shit. How does this all go fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay. First of all, NBC has been... Wearing. NBC has been very nice to me. I would like to defend NBC and say they've had one of the greatest networks legendarily of all time. Must see TV is NBC. Friends, Seinfeld, cheers, come on. The real wedding yeah, crashers. fantastic right? 20 to 30 years ago. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> It'll be good again. I like the Peacock thing. 30 Rock was great. The new 30 Rock thing was awesome. But I will say this. I had a buddy that moved out here to be an actor at one time, and, and we were talking, and it, all, all his friends thought he was being delusional. I go, dude, man, look, I'm just rooting for you, man. If you're out here and you become Austin Kutcher, I'm fucking excited. And he goes, oh. I would not be Austin Kutcher. I am a film actor. I'm like, okay, fuck off. Okay. That's bananas. Also, and also, Austin, who's, who's, Austin, Austin, who's Austin Kutcher? Austin Kutcher? <laughs> you mean Ashton Kutcher? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, huh? He's a film no, actor, guys. No, he's not Ashton actor. Kutcher. Austin Kutcher from fucking that seven, the, the fucking guy that was in the... <laughs> 70s oh show. Austin Kutcher does Not the guy from Punk, Ashton that's Kutcher. That's a different guy than Ashton Kutcher that was on oh 70s show, right? No, it's what? Not. It's what? What? <laughs> yes, I know. I mispronounced it. I'm sorry. I just see that's how you do it, Rachel. <laughs> you sell it like they're different people, and then you look even dumber. I'm kidding. That's not, that's <laughs> guys, guys, and his friend is a sim is a serious film actor like Tim Cruise. And, and by the way, the first time I said I went, that's not right. I'm like, well, I just commit to it, and hopefully nobody will notice. And then everyone did. So that was my. By bad. the way, Caitlin, thank you for the being the one person to laugh at my Tim Cruise joke. I appreciate. <laughs> Here for you. I love I love the Indiana Jones series starring Harry S. Ford. Big fan of his. <laughs> that could be a fun game in the future. Slightly alter a famous person's name. Yeah, I think he was married to Myla Connus. <laughs> <laughs> I love Myla Cotta. She's hot. <laughs> All right. Can we arrange okay, anything else to catch up on? Michelle Fifor. <laughs> uh, I, I per personally enjoy Keanu Reed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A couple more things. So uh, Rob tipped the show 10 bucks. He couldn't be in the front row today, but here's a few bucks in advance of the show. So thank you, Rob. And thank, you, thank Rob. you for reading that, Queen Rozell. <laughs> <laughs> and Great then... beatboxing, too. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, you're white. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Tam tipped the show a couple bucks and said, "General, this has me. This has bugged me for nearly six months. It isn't even a backslash. It's a forward slash. Exactly. Backslash tilts to the left." Thank you, Tam. Me. And it's just unnecessary because no one even knows where the other slash is on the keyboard. It's just the only slash you can get to. It's under the question mark. We all know it. It's fine. Yeah, Slash is also my favorite guitar player. I don't know if that makes any difference. <laughs> yeah, you actually, yeah. what you do is you do, you go uh, patreon.com and then put a picture of Slash. Oh. <laughs> if you if you uh, if your favorite guitar player was backwards Slash, the music would play backwards and it would tell you devil messages. Basically, Trump being like, "Covid's not a thing." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Very generous laugh for that dumb joke. Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I actually, I have been enjoying, uh, you know, following the Red Wedding. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even at that season yet, but I know what that means, and that was pretty good. I had another friend last night. She goes, am I a bad person if I, if I kind of wish that Trump dies? And I said, only a good person would think that. <laughs> oh, only a good person would be worried about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the Trump isn't worried about who he fucking wishes died. I guarantee that. And by the way, the most interesting thing to me is uh, there are now three Republican senators who have it. 
um, mm -hmm. I think all three on the Judiciary Committee. And you know it's really difficult to do, confirming a Supreme Court justice. That's a fact, which which leads more credence to Bauer's theory. True. Her Absolutely. dying or wish was to not be replaced. Not. They're like, we're replacing her anyway. And she's like, I don't think so. <laughs> she's yeah. like, I'm sorry, sick person says what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and again, we want all these people to recover, but maybe just to recover after the election. And then it would be, even though they're still going to try to put a Supreme Court justice in during the lame duck period after the election, but that's a lot harder to argue that is appropriate. Well, I mean, in fairness, so Tom Tillis is a senator from North Carolina who repeatedly has like tried to get people infected with COVID. Like his policies are like pro COVID. He's basically a COVID lobbyist. And so uh, I don't want him to die, but you know, maybe some after effects wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> yeah, look. He's this, a big this, fan of it. Let him have what people, he wants. Yeah, people saying, like, just an example, just to speak in generalities about it, about how the Democratic side is just too polite. We are soft. As pudding, man, it's we're soft as like fresh pastries. It's not the way to do it. Like the Biden campaign, Classy says they're removing all negative ads from the air because Trump's in the hospital and has COVID, right? I think it's a wrong move, but it's Classy. Okay, do it for two days and bring them back because immediately the Trump campaign when asked said, we are not extending the same courtesy. Trump <laughs> went in the hospital with COVID. It's like, we're running those negative ads, motherfucker. And just straight up facts. And anybody who argues this just doesn't know how to fight. You're in a fight for your life. You fight with everything you got and as hard as you can. Being polite during a gunfight gets you shot, motherfucker. Also, Ben, Ben, how how hungry are you after that diet? That you're like Democrats are like pudding and pa pa pastry. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought this you were gonna eat a sandwich after that statement. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Look, I don't know if I'm super dog? hungry. They're like the crispy part of the brownie when you cook the brownies out and they're real gooey and crispy. Like the edge brownie. Democrats are like that edge brownie, you know, when you put it in your mouth and it just melts in there. Oh, anyway, like fight, served on ice fight, cream. They're fight. totally like they're served on ice cream. Look, I don't know what you guys are talking about, or do I? <laughs> The problem with COVID is how do you know if a hillbilly has it? Because they, they never had taste. Okay. Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, and just a quick civics lesson. I just do want to point out that if a senator can no longer fulfill their obligations of being a senator, they are replaced by a governor. So let's say a state, I don't know, Kentucky, as an example, and a senator, maybe Mitch McConnell, just as a random example, uh, with a Democratic governor in that state. So if something were to happen to Mitch McConnell, just, you know, j I'm just talking civics. The, uh, <laughs> You're not making a game senators. plan, are you? <laughs> Hope, that, that's a nice senator you got there. Hope nothing happens to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The, uh, so the uh, three senators who already have it, are they in uh, Democrat governor states? Two of the three. Really? Not like I looked this up. <laughs> Not like, no, by the way, you, you sent me down this rabbit Steve. hole by sending me these texts last night, Steve. You're like, oh, my God, Democratic governors. And I'm like, I think RBG was Jesus. RBG was Jesus. <laughs> I like that you actually texted that to us last night and not one of us responded to that. No, I'm like, it, but that happens all the time. When I'm high and I send you guys texts, you never respond. I'm like, they know I'm high and I'm stupid. I don't know. They never respond to anything I say when I'm high. It's very sad to me. <laughs> um, um, all the time on this show. Stuff is said, and I immediately think that could be used in an attack ad against me if I ever run for president again. And then I think, or office, and if run for public office, I meant to say. And then I thought, think, well, okay, just, we're, we're living with that life now. Let's do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think that could be the worst attack ad. <laughs> just playing that clip just then. <laughs> yep. I'm Ben Glee, but I approve this message kind of that he eats a brownie. All right, Rachel, you got to catch up. Yeah, a couple more things came in. So Dana tipped 10 bucks and said, this is for Steve for sick person says what? Thank you. And then Rita O'Donnell tipped the show 10 bucks and said, thanks for the laughs. Thanks, Rita. Thanks, Rita. Awesome. So we're caught up. We're good for a comic. All right, let's get to a comic then. Coming up next. Oh. <clears throat> she was here when I was on acid. So I'm, I haven't seen <laughs> really what, what this looks like. So, uh. Finally, I get to hear her and be able to understand it. Caleb Bluebell's here. Yay! Hey. 
Hey, thank you so much. I'm, you're much better when you're not on acid, Chris, I got to say, but your jacket still is. Oh, I'm boy. Saying, I just, I just, I'm wearing the same coat I was wearing that day. I just realized that yeah, right now. I didn't do that on acid. I didn't do that on acid. I mean, it is a choice. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> I like the jacket. It's very Elvis gone wrong. Um, I, uh, I'm happy to be here. I, uh, I just got off the phone with my mother. So, ah! okay, I feel great. Still not pregnant. <laughs> Everybody's upset. Um, it's, it's good. My mom, actually, she just retired. I'm very proud of her. She just retired 30 years being a second grade teacher which is amazing because she hates children. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, she didn't even hit one. Good job, Louise. You know, <laughs> It's amazing. Yeah, there is such a difference between a teacher that just retired and one that just started, you know? Like the young teachers, they're like, follow your dreams, kids. You can be anything you want to be. And then, like, my mom is in the corner just like, Mary Rich, you know? <laughs> She has had it, you know? Um, she hated teaching, and she hated kids, which made it very tricky to be your daughter, you know? <laughs> oh, boy. I remember coming home from school and needing extra help in class, and she would go, Caitlin, I don't like to take my work home with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bitch, I can't read! <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing for you. You're a teacher who has the dumb kid in class. That's not a good look. You know what I mean? <laughs> like now I'm a, just a fully formed adult who still has to sound out the word neglect. Like that's not good. <laughs> not, it's not good. But it's, oh, it's okay. I did uh, everything worked out fine. I ended up going to art school <laughs> for six years on purpose. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. I spent $127,000 to be a video performance artist. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that just sound like I do porn, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but like classy porn, no butt stuff. All <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a nice girl. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I actually I am um, in my 30s. I know I don't look a day over 22. Shut up. And I, um, I, I love being in my 30s. The thing is, uh, that also comes with uh, every part of my body wanting a baby. That is upsetting. My poor boyfriend. I'm trying to fuck everything that moves, but he doesn't get that there's a baby attached to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> doesn't under my body needs it. It's seeping into every part of my body. I've tried to breastfeed the cat twice, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's even infiltrated my dirty talk. Like, I'm like, ooh, yeah, flip me over and make me a mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, it's not going great. It's not going great. <laughs> oh. I did recently, um, because of my new sexual discovery, I uh, did start watching feminist porn. Very interesting, okay? It's a lot like regular porn, um, almost exactly like regular porn, except at the end, the woman comes. <laughs> That's the only difference. Yeah, she leaves in a good mood with nothing on her face. Amazing. <laughs> That is, uh, that's great. I would recommend it for anybody, you know? Um, and then I also had this realization that I watched this porn and I realized that that was the first time I'd have ever seen another woman climax. Because I've seen all you dumb fuckers do it all the time. And you make very weird faces. It's very sweaty, you know? But I'd never seen a woman do it. And you know what? I know you're thinking maybe she was faking it. She wasn't. She looked really ugly. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a face. No one's making that money, uh, making that face for any amount of money. You know what I mean? Like, that was, <laughs> wow. You know, like, now I realize that is why men claim they can't find the clitoris. It's just because we turn into monsters what you do, once you do. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, a very startling face. I get it now. I get it now. Oh, boy. <laughs> But I was going to watch feminist porn no matter what, eventually, you know. The porn that I was looking for beforehand was all very, you know, leading in that direction. You know, I only like watching porn where it starts off with a woman getting a massage, you know. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> like, at least she's getting something out of this shit, <laughs> all right? <laughs> the only time I want another man to come into the picture, I'm like, yeah, double team that bitch. Get her calves, you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of 
it's amazing that like um like we any of us know how to have sex i feel like women we get kind of the short end of the stick because we don't get very good sex talks you know they're so afraid that we're gonna you know learn about sex and then just try and fit all the dicks in our mouths you know what i mean so <laughs> their 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 sex talk is like just don't do it or you're die a whore or something like that like i remember when i got home uh, i was at home and my sister came home from college okay and she says to me trying to help me out she said caitlin no man will ever marry a woman if she slept with more than three guys <laughs> Thank you, Zara. Okay. <laughs> My reaction exactly. I was like, three guys? Damn, I just waved bye bye to that at prom. Oh my God. <laughs> like, three dicks? Really? That's all we get. Three dicks. That's just enough dicks to know what they're supposed to look like. Okay? <laughs> doesn't seem fair at all, you know? And it's like, and, and men, you don't want that. You know what I mean? Men don't want a woman who's only been with three men. That means she remembers every man she's ever had <laughs> sex with. Oh, my God. You don't need that kind of pressure, gentlemen. No, you need someone <laughs> like me, okay, who has had so much bad sex, you could never disappoint her. All right? <laughs> Oh, you have whiskey dick? Who cares? At least we're not on a deflated air mattress next to a porter potty at Burning Man. All right? <laughs> you can't hurt me. <laughs> okay, that's my time. Thank you. Caleb Palupo, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. Our is open. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You could PayPal at sdscshow.com. Of course, you could super chat on the YouTube. And by the way, uh, leaving a good mood with nothing on your face is also a good slogan for a dermatologist. <laughs> 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 I've literally never wa watched Rachel laugh harder at a joke than bend me over and make me a mom. Oh, she <laughs> fucking lost her mind on that one. That was one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard at Rachel. I was not expecting that. It was a <laughs> great joke. I also, by the way, very much want to see the show when Elvis's go wrong. <laughs> Just go to Vegas. <laughs> yes, it is a show. Hey, Jake, Chris Newberg's here. Hey, Chris, how are you doing, buddy? Hello, sir. Hey, we're glad to have you here. Well, uh, uh, I will say this, uh, Kayla, I agree with you. you. You don't want a woman who's only had three three people, so she remembers all that stuff. But at the same time, I always tell women, don't date guys that are good at Tinder. You want a guy who's fumbly and weird at it. If he's fucking good at it, he's. you don't want a guy who can just swipe right and fuck whenever he wants. That's terrible as a boyfriend. Like he's, put up the toilet seat. I'll be right back. Fuck! I mean, it's just... <laughs> like, don't date guys that are good at fucking random girls at bars. It's terrible for you. <laughs> That's how I got chlamydia twice. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that been. your whole game, though, Bowers, or what? <laughs> what, my whole game? Yeah. No, I don't have any game at the bar. I gotta be. Oh, really? yeah. I, I thought know. you did that whole pigeon dance, the whole. Oh, I do the pigeon dance, but I'm telling you, my last three relationships, the, the, basically, here's how it works. The first, you spend the night with me the first time, and then we sleep at the, in the same bed till we get divorced. That's how my relationships work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Bowers isn't looking for love, he was just looking for a roommate. Oh, oh, I love too. I'm just saying, like, when it happens, it happens. I don't date around. I don't date every other Tuesday. He like, just Chris meets he... people at bars. He's like, want to go have these on rent? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't cheap in Indiana. I got my first wife. I met her at a bar, slept with her the first night, and literally spent every night with her until we got divorced. Then I was single for a year, met Angela, same thing, 10 years, and Chrissy, same thing, 10 years. That's how it works. Huh? And it, it's, it works out. <laughs> I think you just gave yourself a case to get therapy. I feel like that's what uh, that just oh, I've had amazing relationships. They've been fun. It just don't have to last forever. You know, life has to last forever, right? Okay, we got weird. Rachel, what's going on? Yeah, please. Uh, I hope Chrissy's not in the background and didn't hear that. Um, <laughs> She's painting. She's right here. She goes, I don't give a fuck. She goes, I agree. I don't give a fuck. I just... <laughs> Perfect. I love it so much. Um, all right. So Dave Adler tipped uh, Chrissy five bucks before her set and said, Caitlin, you mean? Caitlin. What did I say? Chrissy. Chrissy. You got Chrissy on the brain. I did. Uh, <laughs> it's fun. He tipped Caitlin five bucks and said, I wish I could be in the audience today, but my mom borrowed my webcam. I was going to use this as my background next time you were on again. Again, I loved you in the parking garage. And then he sent it a picture, but oh. I can't see the picture because it's on my computer. And I can't. Probably the picture of him at the parking garage show that she was at. <laughs> <laughs> he was so nice. I don't want to know why his, his mom needed his webcam, though. That's. Because uh -huh. we're in a pandemic, Bowers. 
Oh, okay. Probably because so she had a meeting. Her. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm fucking kidding. It's a joke. I don't think Bob's doing porn with his webcam. I'm just making a funny joke. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time I try to yes and that one, I was like, no, no. <laughs> Uh, so the picture is that, you know, that woman that, like, does this? It says, it's that, and it says, we demand girth. Oh, that's my merch. <laughs> oh, so oh. Okay. That's nice. so nice. Yeah, I have a very girthy joke. Um, it's about penises. <laughs> <laughs> I, I personally am a flat girther. I really believe that. <laughs> <laughs> flat girther. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't believe girth is a thing. <laughs> Just go right off the edge if you try. <laughs> All right, more tips for Caitlin. Uh, Technic tipped uh, five bucks and said, your Instagram is hilarious and so is that set. Glad to see you here again. Just stop trying to breastfeed the cat, okay? Someone will mom you soon. <laughs> Uh, Alexander Bryan, your tip two bucks and should surely that kind of porn isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'll give him a list of websites. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, George uh, tip uh, and say thank you for the uh, porn lesson. Very uh, luciating and frightening. <laughs> Luciating? Luciating? Luciating in the sky with illuminating words. <laughs> Illuminating? E A T I N G. Huh? E L U? What? That's what I said. Right? Kind of. It's elusive. I do everything kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, oh, that is true. You know what my favorite Keanu Reed movie was? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, George, what word were you trying to say? Elucidating. There we go. Elucidating. Oh. We have gotten so good at deciphering codes on this yeah, show. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's when you date. Uh, yeah, okay. And. Oh, you're going to finish that, Bowers? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to finish it. I self edited, you know. I'll finish it. Loosely dating is what Steve and Rachel did. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going for, but I was I couldn't figure out how to make the words work. Thank you, Ben. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> I'm teaching a class of learning annex called Making Words Work. Finishing the <laughs> for Christ's sake. Um, uh, Matthew Plummer tipped five bucks and said, Caitlin, I too am not pregnant. Probably a win for me, though. <laughs> yeah, same <Nice>. here. <laughs> and then Leedy tipped you five bucks and said, oh my God, Caitlin, you're my hero. Nice. Uh, you. Stephen Burks, five pounds. Tip for Caitlin, amusing five stars would come again. <laughs> <laughs> She heard that at prom. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> uh, um, Zara, uh, 10 Aussie, says, Caitlin, your dirty talk reminded me of one of my worst pickup lines I ever got. An independent, strong woman turns me on so much. Let me take you home and make you a single mom. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, yep. Bart, what would Bart and Bauer say that at? <laughs> I'm not having any kids. I'd never say something like that. <laughs> we also had uh, Peter, Peter Amsel uh, tip you 10 Canadian. And then he had. We all, all just want to say, sorry. On that last one, I imagine the guy's like, let me take you home and make you a single mom. Yeah, we'll go back to your place and we'll look up the adoption rules in your neighborhood and fill out the forms and buy. <laughs> Two, three weeks from now, you're going to be on your own, baby. <laughs> like it might take more than one visit because sometimes they don't approve you right away. But, wow. We'll clean up this place. We'll stage it, make it look like you can totally have a kid. Get you some character references. Yeah, baby. Zara so wasn't at a bar. She was at an adoption lawyer. That's what the pickup line <laughs> Uh Peter Amsel um, said... He said, I don't think RBG was Jesus, Bowers, but in Jewish tradition, and yes, I'm Jewish, someone who dies on the end of the year is considered a righteous soul. Denying her dying wish could be an affront to God. Okay. okay. So, not Jesus, but she is, a, she is doing this. I like it. I'm in. Yeah. 
I love that Bowers had a very strong theory, and then one comment just made him abandon ship on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's the thing. I can believe what I believe, and I try to teach people the truth, but then when they don't want to listen, I give up very quickly because I don't, I don't need to argue with people. I'm just telling you where, how it is, you know? So if you don't want to follow me, you don't have to follow take me. Take it back not, strong. My church like isn't going to fight people into being part of it. If you want to be part of it, cool. But we, we got room for everybody, but we don't need everybody. George just said... <laughs> Georgia said she's actually Moses, and George, I do agree, because currently she is parting the Red Sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Razor also tip um, Caitlin five bucks and said, Caitlin, I'm all about feminist-style sex. You get to do all the jobs, be on top, talk the whole time, and get go to get the Gatorade and munchies in your own car, because, damn it, I care. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Just stock Gatorade. What are you doing? Who <laughs> fucks long enough to need Gatorade? Quit bragging. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> when I have sex, it's such a rare achievement. I pour Gatorade over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I it God, was... you're on fire today, Ben. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was great. When Caitlin said, I've never seen a female <laughs> orgasm before, I just wanted to be like, same with Ben. <laughs> You're quarantined alone. <laughs> um, we, we also had Jan Johnson tip five bucks and say, Caitlin, I haven't laughed that hard in a while. Nice. Aww, thank you. And then um, there was, I don't, this person's name. All right. Doodoo Bean tipped 20. <laughs> 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 Rachel, it says Keanu Reed. <laughs> I bet it was Brian when people call me Doo Doo Bean. What's up? <laughs> Doo Doo Bean. <laughs> be a single mom? <laughs> Doo Doo Bean? Please. My father was Mr. Doo Doo Bean. <laughs> it's the worst clothing catalog. <laughs> Ben, you are on fire today. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta wake up Ben in the middle of a deep sleep more often. <laughs> oh, wait, we usually do. Never mind. Uh, no, he got to eat again, so his brain's like fire. He's on fire and all cylinders. Right. He's gonna start himself. Yeah. I have a month of jokes just rearing to come out. <laughs> the okay. back half of the show, I'll be doing jokes from the last thirty episodes. I've been holding back. Did you say rearing to come out? Rearing. Rearing. Rearing to go, you know. I think it's raring to go, isn't it? Is Bowers me today? <laughs> raring, right? You know, rearing to go. It's raring to go, right? I think sure I'm not fucking you on this one. Sure is, Austin Catcher. No, I get, <laughs> I get that I was wrong. Am I wrong on this? Is it rearing to go? No. I think it's oh. kind of cool that Bowers is going as Rachel for Halloween already. <laughs> <laughs> the long cosplay. All right, I'm wrong twice. My bad. Uh, Bowers is just going oh. as Rachel for Halloween so that he could finally date Steve. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough, man. Wow! Ben! <laughs> ben saw me. the heart of my own joke. <laughs> heart of my own joke, my corona came back. <laughs> Oh. Ben saw me have a good episode yesterday, and he was like, not on my watch, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Zara's correcting us with that Oxford Dictionary shit. She said, it's raring. It is raring? Yeah. Yes. Thank you! I knew it was! <laughs> Fuck off, everybody! Thank you, Zara! <laughs> dialectically, it's rearing, but Oxford says it's raring, so... Oh, oh, dialectically, it's rearing, though. Whatever that means, booyah, That Bauer. means that that's what, hillb how, what hillbillies say, but they're wrong. That's no, what that's dialectically mean, that means. That means not what British people say. Yep. Queen's English. Like that. Nobody goes by the Oxford Dictionary. Look, British as, people. As the only person on this show from Queens, I can say <laughs> that is not. The as English. the only queen, I can just say rearing. I, yeah. <laughs> I Excuse me. I think George has something to say about that designation. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he said rearing is something else entirely. That's what I'm saying. That's what, you know, say you're rearing to go. I'm like, I, Caitlin doesn't do that in her porn or whatever. Look, I will take it whatever <laughs> angle I can get it, okay? <laughs> can we move on and get back to doo-doo bean? Yeah, what did doo-doo bean have to say? <laughs> How can we forget about doo-doo bean? <laughs> <laughs> 
Doo-doo beat. Can we get back to doo-doo beat? It's my favorite thing. <laughs> Please don't make that a shirt, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll take it down from the store. All right, back to doo-doo bean, sorry. What is my job right now? Doo-doo bean tipped $20 and said, yeah, you know a girl isn't faking it when her legs start shaking and she's got that John Mayer jam face. <laughs> That's a great imitation of that face, Rachel. Is that, are, are you trying to channel your own orgasm face or trying to be like John a- Mayer? I can't decide what that is. <laughs> Because you do it with such little enthusiasm, I believe that that's what it is, but I don't know. Is that a John Meyer face or a Chris Bauer's about to eat an Oscar Meyer face? What is that <laughs> also, John Meyer. Steve, you know what, what her face looks like. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Steve, is that what her face looks like? You know. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Laura, do you want to tell them what my face looks like? Uh, <laughs> you could show them, but that, that, that's the special zoom after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we had to borrow Dave Adler's webcam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that joke means, but I like it. <laughs> uh, all right, a couple more things. Uh, Leedy tipped uh, $5 and said, Chrissy is also my hero. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> And then Chan Johnson, God damn it, five dollars. General do do do. All of you are killing it. My face hurts from laughing. Uh, by the way, Jan, that is General do 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 bean. <laughs> <laughs> ben, are you enjoying this humor? You typically hate this sort of stuff. <laughs> this one's not bordering into it overtly until you said that. Now I don't like it. <laughs> He's like, I just thought he was focused on the bean, bean part until <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of bean jokes. Thanks a lot, Rachel. <laughs> You're welcome. That's the type of uh, porn that Caitlin watches. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, Most people can't find the bean, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what they claim. <laughs> let's just say Chicago's my kind of town, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're caught up. Boston is bean town, right? Yeah. Oh, they, well, they have the bean in Chicago. You just have to find it. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I lived there three years, never found it, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> With a woman sleeping next to him the entire time. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you learn stuff in your twenties. Uh, <laughs> so, are we caught up, Rach? Um, I'm doing a quick refresh, and as I'm refreshing, I'm delaying, and no, we're not caught up. Oh. Uh, so Hayden, oh, that's the game entry. They're all game entries. We're good. <laughs> nice. All right. Cool. Well, let's get to our next comic. One of our first guests. One of our first guests on one of our first shows. Good friend of the show. One of my good buddies. J. Chris Newberg, everybody. Woo! Hey, everybody. Uh, it's been a pretty weird morning. Uh, I woke up and I found a whole bunch of ballots in my pool. <laughs> <laughs> They all just said military on them. It was very strange. <laughs> um, I came up with some names for the game, uh, for the game that you guys have. Uh, I have we do Sonic. those at the end, though. We do those yeah. at the end. Okay, Good. cool. So I'll save those. Uh, a lot of people are planning to leave after the election. Uh, I moved during the debate, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's really hard to do segues now in comedy because they're gone. Um, you can't really, the, the virus has removed segues. You can't just be like, oh, so the other day I was at the gym. No, you weren't, you liar. You weren't wearing a mask, you son of a bitch. I'm leaving. How come you hate stuff? <laughs> um, people are saying that, uh, you know, I don't, I, I hate when people get worried and they're like, I don't want to die alone. I don't want to die alone. Isn't that the time for you to be the most selfish ever? Who wants to die with someone else? Like when you're sick, you want to be taken care of. If you're dying, you don't want to hear like, oh, dude, Sarah's dying too. Well, fuck Sarah. I, this, I'm dying. <laughs> I don't want to die alone. Like, this is about me. I don't want the headlines the next day to be like, 13 people died. Fuck that. No, just me. Well, <laughs> um, I just think that uh, now that there's lockdown, teacher sleeping with students has gone to a new level of gross. 
Trump did uh, said Trump that he made, paid seven hundred and fifty dollars in taxes, so he was making like full time comedian money. Obviously, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. I what would be weirder? And then I have a song, and then I'll go. Uh, I, well, I think it's 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 sad because I think yeah, two hundred thousand people have died. That sucks, but it's so rare anymore that I hear, hey, I'm moving to LA for pilot season. Like I never hear that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, <laughs> so um, right before the song, what would be weirder? Uh, if you had a like a fantasy sex doll, like you like you you needed a sex doll to complete your life for whatever reason. So you went to a, a sex a sex toy store and uh, you see the perfect sex toy, the toy that's like, oh my God, this is the toy for me. I love this. And the guy's like, well, you, this one right here? And you're like, yeah. And, you, and it looks exactly how you want it to look. And, and it's perfect looking. And then the guy says, well, it's only $2.99. And you're like, for really? For my dream fuck doll? It's only $2.99? Why? Is there is there a problem with it? Well, yeah. Um, every time it climaxes, it makes eye contact with you and goes, living spaces. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <I miss it>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your grandma. But your new hair looks awesome. It was totally worth it. She was old. <laughs> Do you feel bad? You've got another grandma. So what you waiting for? Go get those nails dipped. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> J. Chris Newberg, everybody. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on the YouTube. By the way, Chris, I always I always thought about the idea of that, like, if you die, is there a headline? Like, yeah. at what point in your career does your name get mentioned in the headline? Yeah, like, are like, you cool enough to die on TMZ? Yeah, like, as a, as a comic, like, if you're in, like, a car full of comics... Is it just four people died on the interstate, or mm -hmm. or like are they named? Like that's how you know what your career would be. It's always mm -hmm. horrible. That, like that makes me laugh all the time. Whenever like a non-famous dies with a famous. Like do you remember? <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you remember yeah. when 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 Tracy Morgan got into his car accident? It was Tracy Morgan and his friend who died. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> his friend was a comedian. He opened up for him. He had merch. How about mention the kid's merch? <laughs> and Tracy lived. Yeah, right. Like lived. Tracy Morgan hurt some schmuck died, but you know this guy was famous. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I mean that's the kind of thoughts that go through comics' heads. Like I, whenever a famous comedian dies, all the comedy clubs put their name on the marquee and say "Rest in Peace" or "Go with oh, God" or cool. something. And I used to, I used to think that I, I kind of wished I would die just so I could get on the Laugh Factory marquee for once. <laughs> yeah i mean but i like his i think the laugh factory at laugh factory marquee just feels dirty because every time someone dies it's like robin williams rest in peace buddy five dollar bud lights come in and it's like, <laughs> huh? How? i think i told also, this by the way ben ben i mean that's harsh to say you wouldn't have been put up there <laughs> wow <laughs> I, I, this is a true story. I, 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 told, I think I told this story before, but there was a comic that died in Lexington, and he was a big local comic. And that at the at the funeral, the 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 owner of the comedy club, uh, while giving his eulogy, uh, said, and I, and I think Brian will want me to mention that we've got Rich Reagan's this weekend, Friday and Saturday, two shows, Holy Friday, two shit. shows Saturday, and he did it, and, and it killed the entire church. Everyone fucking died because he plugged the shows the next weekend in the guy's eulogy. That's one of my favorite things I've ever heard. There was. Uh, it was it wasn't death, but uh, with the when the ice house when um, when Jan, who was the booker of the ice house for you know decades, 
when he retired uh, last year. There was a big party at the Ice House, and there were a whole bunch of famous people who were there basically thanking him for their start. And it was this really, like, warm heart, you know, just heartwarming thing where, you know, you actually got to hear what people would have said at someone's eulogy, but while the person was still alive and there. And it was wonderful. And then they were like, if anyone else wants to say something about Jan, and, like, a couple open micers stood up and, like, tried to talk. It was the most ridiculous like oh i'm gonna do this for two minutes of stage time you know i never met jan but hearing all these people say such nice things it just weren't shut the fuck up and sit down and have a meet <laughs> like women right it takes them so long to get ready i mean am i right <laughs> <laughs> I, had right. Such a, I had such a good steve slam right after his marquee joke about me but all this stuff happened since and i can't do it now so i'll know i'll save it <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go back. We'll go back. Ben, you wouldn't be up there. Fair enough, Steve, but neither would you. You would be on the marquee at Greenblatt's, though, after all those DIY rental shows you did next door. <laughs> wasn't as good as I thought. Got me! Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, see, wait, I would have went a different route. Steve, can you set it up one more time? <laughs> all right. And, and I'll jump in where I would have jumped in. Had you ben want me to do it about Ben did. or about you? No, about Ben. I okay. love that now my death... Not making the marquee is happening three times on the show, but go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So ben, up. Ben, you wouldn't have been up there. What are you talking about? He dies there all the time. <laughs> oh, shit. I would have said that. Like that seems like more concise. <laughs> oh. Ben, you brought this on yourself. I did. I totally did. And you gotta love how J. Chris Newberg now third, fourth, fifth time on the show can't figure out to put his lyrics and his jokes somewhere near the computer camera. It doesn't look like he's reading them from fucking over here. Could have been there. Had to be here, didn't it, Newberg? No, no, it's because it's like I'm like an offensive coordinator with my jokes. I write down the ones I want to do, and I just pick off the other ones. I bring them on stage, same notes, same everything. Yeah. I don't hide them. Yeah, it looks like the guy in the Beautiful Minds house in uh, Newberg's house. There's just shit all over the window panes and shit, just everything written down. Yeah, well, that's right. Well, that's because... always sunny meme with all the fucking lines tied to everything with Charlie. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yes. I mean, it's important to know what your strengths are. I do admire you for that, Chris. Like his manager told him to start wearing suits on stage because he gave up on trying to convince him to try charisma for a long time ago. So. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was good. It's always funnier when you don't announce what you're about to say is funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was the big problem with that setup. That was the big problem with that setup. So true. That is so true. Although Newberg was our only other comedy writer on Idiot Test, and every day he walked in like, I've got a bunch of really funny scripts. You ready for these? And then I would, I would say, them. when I'm done eating this pound of carrots, hold on. <laughs> Turkey out of a bag. No, it was literally carrots. <laughs> And he, made, and he, made, he made the staff feed it to him like he was a, like a mare. And they had to pet him. A mayor or a mare? A mayor. Uh, it was actually a John Mayer. John Mayer. I yeah. to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Rachel, what we got coming Body up? Body is a carrot farm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Peter Amsel tipped you 10 Canadian, so thanks, Peter. Uh, Alexander Breyer, two bucks. Hopefully it's enough to bump you up a tax bracket. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, George, 1131, um, fun set. My fantasy sex doll would totally look like you, but without the music. I don't like musical oh. numbers during sex, and after sex, I want just peace and quiet. <laughs> also, can I point out that in the chat during that whole bean talk, uh, George said, I'm never eating beans again. And I was like, you never did in the first place, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, Dana I think it was Caitlin's whole point with all of us. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I also, I just want to clarify from Caitlin said, I forgot to do this earlier. At the very beginning when you were like, I've seen all of you orgasm. She meant <laughs> men in general, not the, not the three of us specifically. <laughs> well, not all I of said us. Yeah, she wasn't like, there for that Ooh. Zoom. <laughs> That's how you get into this gang. <laughs> you have to come in through the no pants Zoom before you get to the main <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> Once you jerk off in front of us, we know you're cool, then you're in. <laughs> oh. Of the Dick Street Club. Also, if you ever jerk off in front of us, you are not allowed in this show. Just want to make that clear. <laughs> how would you know? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? How would you know whether I have or not? Oh, 
Huh? That's going to keep you up at night. That's been our <laughs> show, everybody. That's been our show. I can stop this. Hold on. So Dana. <laughs> I think now we know how Bowers lost so much weight. <laughs> I think we know why his jacket looks like that. <laughs> I think we know yeah, why Chris is, I think we know why Chris is in the other room. I think we know we know why Chris is in the other room painting. <laughs> Repainting. <laughs> all right. Someone right. just throw up. <laughs> How come all your painting looks like Krispy Kreme frosting? <laughs> Just walk into Barra's place, be like, is that a Jackson Pollock? <laughs> and he'd be like, no, it's a Jackson Brown. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. I really want to stop this. Uh, <laughs> so Dana tipped five bucks and said, so J. Chris, is this what comes after Gallo's humor? <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Okay. Do is this an inside powers? joke? I think that, I think you're joking about your death. Gallus Homer's when you drink about other people's deaths. So this is the next progression of that. I was thinking oh, what, what she meant. I, I just didn't know what the word gallows meant. So it means joking about someone else's death. Gallows humor basically means very, very dark humor. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then Zara bending, uh, five bucks. Great set. Awesome. Uh, Stephen Burks, five pounds. Tip for Newberg. Amusing. Four and a half stars. Fuck Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Andrea Gordon, five bucks. Uh, for each comic. And then said, um, thank you guys. I really needed this today. Uh, yeah, awesome. thanks, everyone. Thank you. And then Matthew Plummer, five bucks for J. Chris. Hilarious. Rachel, don't read any of this on air. Uh, but the only <laughs> way it will be funny is if you accidentally do. What if I purposely do? It's still funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Good information. Um, we had a few generals. Do, do, do. Ba, 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 ba. Um, you guys just never want me to do it right anymore, do you? You want to do it? No, no, never. No, forget it. Forget it. Who are we, Carmel? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Alexander Breyer tipped the show and said, Lady should draw the flash dance water scene as with Ben, but with Gatorade. <laughs> oh my God. The feeling. I look great in leggings, you guys. Just wait. How come like Arby's hasn't made the RBG? Like, you know what I mean? Doesn't it seem? <laughs> it just seems like just throw a little black robe on a sandwich and then poof, it's the most <laughs> political sandwich in history. Immediate advertising. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to Chick Fil A. Go to RPGs. Okay. Uh, a couple more, then we can get to the game. So Ashley tipped the show ten bucks. So happy I caught the show today. You guys are hilarious. Thanks for the entertainment. And Ben, I love your face. <laughs> Thank you very much. Someone thought that was nothing, nothing else, but your face. She's into the rest of you. Nah. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. And then uh, Zara tipped the show 10 bucks and said, for Ben killing it up until now, and for not asking me to take off a Hofstetter shirt for the first time. Proud of you, mates. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're caught up, guys. We're caught up. Well, let's play this game then. Play the game. So the game today is make a TV show old. And these are a couple of the unpaid entries that I really liked. Um... Shannon Burke had, instead of the Big Bang Theory, the big, not tonight, I have a headache theory. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, make a um, show, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> and then, we should do that with all of us. That'd be great. Yeah, we should make a show, each one of us. Yeah, a movie or show. Yeah, that's a really, that's, make a note of that, Steve. That's I scary. love that you guys think she has to pretend she has a headache. <laughs> 
Um, and then live audience, front row, if you guys want to play any, just raise your hand in the participants window. I also liked James Joyce's Old Man in Cars Spilling Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then uh, Pea Shooter, Anthony Bourdain, No More Reservations. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I like that one. That's fucking. One. That's called gallows humor, Newberg. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so let's get to the front row. So let's go to um, Leedy first. All right, um, so I have The Walking Dead. I don't think it needs changing. Um, <laughs> uh, Shit Your Pants Creek. <laughs> <laughs> Graying Anatomy. Oh, uh, yeah. Creaky Blinders. Uh, <laughs> and Bingo Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, Tina from New Zealand. Um, I've got Game of Retirement Homes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two guys, a girl, and an adult dolpa, diaper. Sorry. <laughs> two guys, a girl, and an adult diaper. Nice. <laughs> Ash versus Nearly Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tina. Um, let's go to Zara. I love that Kiwi accent so very much. Okay, <laughs> so uh, well, I got you, girl. I got you. Uh, so firstly, nice Jesus I, pillow. I like your Jesus pillow behind you too. That's really cool. Yeah, queen. <laughs> uh, contested development. <laughs> uh, Doctor Who, Doctor Where, Doctor Why. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, getting dark, morphine line of duty. And my last one, breaking back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anyone? So, Jan or George, do you guys want to read any? No. Oh, yeah. George has one. Call Me By Your Name. It's a great movie and book. I just have the from The Apprentice, The Alumni. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and uh, Repo Man Transformers Edition. <laughs> nice. okay so these are the other ones that we had um comics these are the ones we're going to be voting on starting with the ones that were in our live audience if you want to remember your favorite so tesha whitman starting us off set of the wonder years alzheimer's years kevin's chasing winnie just like he used to because in his mind it's 1970 again <laughs> wow it should be a little longer <laughs> Uh, Jonathan S. Widowed with great grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Um, Alexander Breyer. That seventy-year-old starring at Austin Kutcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a guy just trying to remember the actor's name. <laughs> uh, Alexander Breyer. At home, Care Bears. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Greg Murphy, how do you make a TV show old cast Steve? <laughs> what? I'm very He's calling confused. Steve old. Yes, oh, I'm not the oldest. I am. I am the second youngest one of us. I, I think the joke probably was that you just look the oldest, but fair enough. <laughs> oh. yeah, that makes sense. yeah, yeah. All right, um, and then Jonathan S. Are you afraid of the eternal dark? <laughs> wow. Um, Technics, uh, the Big Bang. <laughs> uh, Amanasala, facts of life alert. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Nice. Uh, M. Garza, little white house on the prairie. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess he's old. Put sure. question marks. Did you guys like I in? I did like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, you, your inflection was spot on. I'm really good at my job. Thanks. Uh, Alexander Pryor. Exclamation mark. Can you read it that your way? Your inflection has never been the problem. Little ha White House on the Prairie. <laughs> <laughs> was that an underline? What punctuation was that? <laughs> Excuse me. Just do it like a wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> what punctuation that is. All right. Alexander that was a lazy version of Rachel trying to be enthusiastic again. <laughs> I would love Rachel to do a promo for a radio station that has like Rocktober. 
It'd be fantastic. It'll raw. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like exactly that. what I wanted. Perfect. Cool, thanks. Nailed it. Uh, Alexander Breyer. Thomas the Oxygen Tank. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Andrea Gordon, Arrested Development, except my nose and ears. Oh, God. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Andrea Gordon, how to get, get away with two extra helps of pudding. <laughs> <laughs> two extra helps. This really looks great. Crazy. Uh, Andrea Gordon, The Late Show, Group Funerals. <laughs> Uh, Amanasala, shits in my diaper and creek. <laughs> um, Hayden, in living color, back in my day, all the TV shows were black and white. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Hayden, instead of Will and Grace, Will and Testament. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's really good. <laughs> Marissa Myrick, everybody mourns Raymond. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> uh, Marissa Myrick, boy meets grave. <laughs> boy leaves world. <laughs> oh. These are so good. Uh, Marissa Myrick, saved by the life alert. Nice. <laughs> Andrea Gordon, step by step, Grandma. Take it easy on that new knee. <laughs> Jonathan S. Clarissa explains Geritol. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Amina <laughs> Sala, whose time is it anyway? <laughs> Andrea Gordon, good times before all these damn immigrants. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Amanasala, different strokes, and Viagra is what I need to get that hard now. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Zara had a late one, different strokes, more like series of aneurysms. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Razor had droop balls dragging race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing a quick refresh. I think those are all of the entries. Oh right. my God. There was <laughs> so many great ones. I was definitely going to go with how to get away, to, away with two extra helpings of pudding. That was going to be mine. But I got to go with Droop Balls Drag Race. God damn it. <laughs> that is so fucking funny at the buzzer. Oh God. Chris, what was your favorite one? <clears throat> I like uh, I like that one. The drag race is really funny. <laughs> Is this where I submit my entries? Oh, right after we vote. So oh. your vote oh, is drag I, race. I don't know the rules. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I get I go for Droop Balls Drag Race. Caitlin, what's yours? Um, I liked I liked how to get away with two extra helpings of pudding. And I also liked Are You Afraid of the Ex Eternal Dark? <laughs> and then I thought Creaky Blinders was also very good. <laughs> nice. Which one are you voting for? Uh, how to get away with two extra helpings of pudding. <laughs> All right. Cool. Right. Um, I liked Thomas the oxygen tank. The ball sack one was really funny. Um, but I like uh, how to get away with two extra helpings of pudding. Of pudding. All right. Ben. I Make loved fun. Droop Ball's Dragon Race, but the detail of how to get away with two extra helps of pudding was so old school phrase. That was how it was, it, it was submitted, right? Uh, helpings. Oh, it was helpings, not helps? No, it was helpings. She said helps, though. She oh, said it helps. Hold on, hold on. Let me look real quick. Then. It helps. That's my vote. If it's helpings, my vote goes to I group balls. Helpings, but let me just double check. If it's helps. Helping. Uh, oh, droop balls, it is. Oh. <laughs> Goodness right, gracious, droop balls of fire. That is. <laughs> uh, my vote will not matter. My vote was for Thomas the oxygen tank. So uh, looks like droop balls wins. <laughs> Group Balls Dragging Race. Nicely nice. done. Now, prize Newberg. On yeah, take the prize on the website. Bert Newberg, now you can put yours in. What you got? They're not as good, but uh, uh, Seinfeld. 
Uh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cobra Chai. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, the Simpsons hate blacks. Oh, uh, oh that's how they were Because that's how they were raised. It was a weird time to swallow. <laughs> uh, uh, no longer friends. <laughs> Laver Laverne and Shirley, 1953 to 220. <laughs> Meaning it's a cat, okay. Um, SpongeBob, new liver, curb your aneurysm, murder she lived. Uh, I loved Lucy, but she got endometriosis. CSI, did one of your friends take the goddamn vacuum again? <laughs> and three men, my elderly grandfather who can't walk because he needs a new hip. Sorry if he drooled on you. <laughs> Caitlin, you got any? <laughs> Um, I just had a few. I, uh, I had a um, modern family plot. <laughs> uh, boardwalk Empire Insurance. Um, <laughs> community Center. And then um, uh, This Was Us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, love it. Rach, you got any? Uh, I don't, but Casey had some in the chat, so I was going to read his. Uh, billions of prescriptions. <laughs> nice. Uh, lost at the mall. <laughs> and then the good place with free medication. <laughs> nice. All right. all right, Ben, Steve, how many of you guys got? I, I got have about a lot. A I got about a dozen, and mine are all 90s shows. <laughs> okay. I have, I, have, I have 19, so I can, you know. All right, we can go, we can go back and forth. Sure. All right, you do one first. The Soprunos. Nice. <laughs> I have uh, Parker Lewis can't lose his social security check. <laughs> uh, 24 hours left. <laughs> oh, uh, everything pains. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. E.R., are you still alive? That's incredible. <laughs> I have uh, Moshe, Musha, Misha. I don't know how you say these newfangled names. <laughs> <laughs> NYPD blew it. That party went till 9 30. <laughs> uh, soil your shorts. <laughs> Better call Saul. Your brother misses you. <laughs> Uh, Sabrina, the old age bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Parks and Recreation is our Disneyland. <laughs> uh, Clarissa explains the internet. <laughs> Curb your enthusiasm, but more complainy. <laughs> uh, rest home improvement. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Arrest all the people in that development. <laughs> I don't understand what the big deal is about this Raymond fellow. <laughs> Deadwood, but it used to work great. <laughs> uh, Caroline in the suburbs. <laughs> Lost my keys again. <laughs> uh, the MTV animated classic Diarrhea. <laughs> Black <laughs> Mirror. Could someone clean this mirror, please? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys will get this one, but Aunt Aunt. Instead sister. of Sister Sister? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, all right, yeah. I was going to go Victor Victoria, so thank you for <laughs> Jane the Virgin was the one that got away. <laughs> and my last one is prejudice and more prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> my last few here are one soup at a time. <laughs> American Horror Story, Civil Liberties. <laughs> oh, God. Mad Men was when office culture was the way it should be. <laughs> and finally, Game of Crones. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, we did it, Ben. It's time for the song. It's 
It's Leedy Doodle time. It's Leedy Doodle time. A little, 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 little picture. Let's do it. Leedy! Let's see what Lee's got for us today. Okay. So, uh, first I have the flash dance, Ben. <laughs> problem is it's really just a silhouette if you think about it but anyways <laughs> go get them nails did oh, no. <laughs> uh, here's jay chris trying to say uh so i went to the gym the other day no you fucking weren't there you fucking liar where's your mouth <laughs> Bitch, I can't read. <laughs> uh, I know, I don't look a day over 22. Shut up. <laughs> I really liked how you said it. It made me so happy. Here is uh, Taylor as the Supreme Emperor or whatever, and Ben is president. <laughs> you always um, wear that. Uh, here's Ben post sex. <laughs> Um, here's Ben in a future show we do in the morning. <laughs> um, here's Ruth Beter Ginsburg. <laughs> here's Ruth uh, Gator Binsberg. <laughs> and, um, Bowers preaching at the Church of RB Jesus. <laughs> That's a great drawing. Can we get back to doo doo bean? <laughs> <laughs> On a shirt. I would buy it. I would buy it. <laughs> um, here is uh, Rachel with that jawline. <laughs> uh, Zara's new dildo brand. <laughs> um, that was just nightmare. <laughs> and you guys trying to workshop the Bible. Bowers is over there on the whiteboard, and then Rachel's asking, uh, guys, we got some generals coming in? <laughs> They're like coming to stop us. <laughs> oh, did you see the Venn diagram we were making for the Bible? That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's the new like logo for our show right there that's incredible and your new motto should be can we get back to doo-doo bean please yes, it should not <laughs> i love it all right we made it through another one holy cow jay chris where do we find you at in the world buddy uh, all social media is at the Chris Army, or I have a podcast called Heroin Has a Great Publicist. Very cool. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. We appreciate you being on. Caitlin, where do we find you at? I am at Caitlin Palufo on all the things, and my podcast, Good Time Gal, is about fun, drunk stories, and it comes out every Wednesday. So do that. Very cool. Well, great job. We appreciate you being here. Thank Thanks you guys. so much. Guys. Uh, you can find me, as always, at Bowers Comedy, and top my podcast is called Doc Heads, where me, Todd McComas, and Savannah Martin uh, review documentaries. Check that out. Rach, you got anything to plug? No, I don't. Ben? I do. This Sunday, if it's Sunday, it's Meet the Press. And after you watch that, you can watch You're the Game Show at Nowhere Comedy Club. Come be on a game show and be crowned the smartest person on the internet. The winner is always crowned the smartest person on the internet. It's a pretty cool title. And then uh, October 10th will be Glebe off the top. Nice. Steve? Uh, I am actually uh, I'm doing a great bar show at Greenblatt's, renting the place out, hoping to make it <laughs> <some tea>. um, <laughs> Now, uh, if you want to see uh, my live tour schedule for next year has been announced. I don't know if it's going to actually happen. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But uh, the Wilbur started selling tickets to the general public now, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, if we keep selling at this pace, we're going to have to add a second show, which is crazy. So. Wow. Uh, Keep, uh, yeah, check check all those out on my website, stevehopsetter.com, and you can also see my Nowhere shows there as well. Very cool. Rachel, anything to catch up on before we say goodbye to the audience? Yeah, so Sneaky Elbow, uh, <laughs> the show, 10 Aussie, and said, Hi, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I would have joined in more, but I've been stuck in lockdown solo since March, and I'm no longer socially acceptable. Thanks for the laughs. <laughs> we appreciate that, and we enjoy that your elbow is sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it?
Mm-hmm. I caught up. All right. Well, audience, thank you yet again. Appreciate you guys that woke up at 5 a.m. in Australia to do this with us. We appreciate that. We love all of you. And we will see you on Tuesday, everybody. Thanks for being here. We love you. All right. You got anything for you? Oh, yeah. There you go. I'll see you guys. Is that your Trump mask? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. He's gonna die. Nothing. Okay. Whatever. All right. See you guys Tuesday. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm. Uh, I'm. Well, I gotta leave the... first. I'm out. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks so much. <laughs> uh, I'm spending the weekend uh, packing up stuff in my place to get it ready to be uh, to be listed. I'm gonna sell my place and hit the road. Um, and uh, also because our mailboxes got broken into yesterday. Yeah, someone broke into the mailboxes, stole all the mail, and I'm pretty sure it was that fucking chicken. <laughs> I, t- I told that to the condo board association and th- they think i'm crazy but they i'll send them the picture they'll know <laughs> it was the chicken well thank you guys for being with us what a fun show again and i will be asleep until the tuesday show so thanks for being with us <laughs> good night and good luck what's in your bed <laughs> just bed <laughs> <laughs>